what's up guys so on this one i want to show you how you can move from cinema photo to keyshot how to export your assets to keyshot let's hit it okay here we are cinema 4d so now we're gonna export all of this to keyshot okay we're gonna convert that to current to state object and now you delete your initial mesh you remain with that so you basically do the same all of your assets okay connect objects but delete do the same with the other one okay so at this point you have to choose the format that you want to use there are so many formats so the one I usually use the most is FBX well yes that's the one that I use I'm gonna save you can also use Alembic ABC file format you can also use the OBJ wavefront file format use any that you like but myself I usually go with FBX so feel like uh, I'm done okay now it's time to go to key shot okay drag your file and drop to key shot hit export close that just hit it hit import I meant hit import wait for a sec okay so here we are key shot so now I have to apply materials okay I think uh, I will go with plastics on this one. Let me go to in environment first. Drop an HDRI. Pick that one. Throw it in there. Mm. Materials. Look for plastics. Go hard and rough. Gonna put the black one. Drag and drop, put one there. That one I'll put it there. Okay. I want to see something here. Why did it, it apply? Or maybe it did, I don't know. Seems like it did. Okay, I'm just proceed to drag and drop. No, don't want to merge materials. Drag and drop again. No, don't want to link or merge those. Drag and drop. No, no linking of materials. So, let's rotate that. Go to materials, go to that one named inside. Uh, put plastic. Let's go with white for now. I will change it later on if there's a need. But that will work for now. So, already as you can see, you have light bouncing. Okay, now I feel like I should add some textures. Start with the bottom one, textures. I made some textures of my own on Photoshop. I'll drop that. Okay. That looks good. Move it up a bit. Okay. I'm just going to add some bump. I'll hold out. Drag and drop into bump. Look at those. Now we have some bumps on our mesh. Edit material on that other one too diffuse pick any material that you want 
that looks okay i'm not gonna put bumps on this one edit material if you select your material i'm gonna do the same with the other one as well yes Use. I'm gonna click that one. I know it's written metal, but it's not really a metal. It's not gonna be a metal because I'm using a plastic preset. It's gonna look like a plastic, as it should be. Right click, edit material. Go to diffuse. Select your material any of your choice or you can use the materials built in this software because they are that good okay i'm just gonna go with red i don't know Ooh. i'm gonna hit okay let's see that looks so good so the textures are quite good. Um, so now I should texture the light bulb. I'm gonna close that. Okay, just wanna see. Let me start with these guys, the bowls, with a material or a metal. Metal material, aluminium will do something rough try no drag and drop there all at once are textured because it's just one of it now go to your bulb yes that's the one that I want scroll down look for light material emissive Drag and drop any of your choice. I'll go with emissive white. Okay, now we have something. And select that. Zoom out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. At this point, it's done. I can't say almost. I mean, it is done. So you have seen how easy it is to apply materials in Keyshot. Didn't waste time in terms of setting up in the lights, putting out, put in values, trying to write try to find the right values for the light and that so in keyshot you just drag and drop your hdris you can pick any that you like from the list you can also import your own hdris see they all are efficient doesn't matter which one you pick but most of them will get the job done for you select product there to get things interesting now go to environment Color, I'm gonna choose a background color, ground reflections. Mm, Something like that will do. Press OK for now. Let me change that red color. Maybe we'll put something blackish. Blackish. That will do. So, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comments, any suggestions, so you can see how good this is. Okay, we are almost there. I'll go with pitch black all the way. I want to see everything. Oh, that looks fantastic brilliant if I do say so myself so you can use any other materials that you want you can use wood you can use even metals let me just change these to demonstrate glass okay I'll start with the bulb use a glass drag and drop see that looks so cool that looks so wow Okay, let me try to change the other ones as well. I'm going to take this one more time. 
Let me go for something metallic. Metal ionized. Drag and drop that one there. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll also drop a link in the description that shows how I made this fantastic model. For those of you who are interested in that, as always, Isaac the artist, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.